Me? I was born at a very young age, so I know my share of life struggles. But I had a truly magical moment in life not long ago that changed everything in ways I could have never imagined. So in my 20s and 30s, I followed society's playbook. Went to college, got a corporate job, worked my face off to build a highly respectable resume. So several years into this corporate life in New York City, I was sitting at my desk on a call with a client and something powerful took over me. The only way I can explain it is like the deepest subconscious, the real me, it finally started screaming, what in the actual fuck are you doing? I felt it in every cell of my body. It was raw, it was genuine. Suddenly that job, it felt like a scam, like I had been tricked into it. And just like that, 10 minutes later, I handed in my resignation. But now, oh man, I was on my couch, unemployed, broke. But worst of all, I had no idea what direction to go next in life. Man, I had to figure this out. And here is where that magical moment happened to me. So I'm going through the local help wanted, looking for just any old job, and I see an ad for what's called a DSP, direct support provider for developmentally disabled adults, no experience needed. Wait, what now? <laughs> oh man, I tell ya, life is short. I'm always up for an adventure. And I truly believe that life begins at the edge of your comfort zone. So I call the agency and apply for the job, and they hire me. Now get this, the agency provides a full service facility for adults with everything from Down syndrome to schizophrenia to severe learning disabilities. So it was my job to be their full-time caretaker, take them shopping, cooking meals, laundry, even administer their medications. Wow, what a beautiful but massive responsibility for minimum wage. Some of them would physically attack the staff, so we had to be careful for that but the majority of the time, they were genuinely happy. We spent so much time making each other laugh. So one Sunday afternoon, I took them bowling, and that is when something beautiful happened inside this little goofy brain of mine. At the bowling alley, they would put the bumpers in the gutters. So every roll, it was impossible to get a gutter ball. So every roll, something was getting knocked down. Wow, when I tell you, every single time, one of them rolled their ball down the lane and knocked down even a single pin, their heads would explode in a good way. Their cheers, their laughter were so genuine and loud and beautiful. I started crying purely out of joy. This is life. I clearly remember in that moment, wow, I am not a fuck up. Because up to that moment, I was genuinely questioning my decision to walk away from such a lucrative professional career. My college degree, which was so expensive, is now worthless. I now know I found something radically new and different for me in life. Namaste. 
So today, after five professional careers, traveling the world, I've been a creator for 18 years now. And this YouTube channel, this is my purpose. This is my mission in life. It's to help middle-aged creatives like us be less anxious and more in tune with our innate creativity. So if you're curious about trying something new in life, don't you dare hesitate. You know, I've come across a lot of people who are terrified of failure and scared of what people might think. Because in our 20s, we're worried about what people think about us. In our 30s, we stop caring what people will think of us. And in our 40s, we realized no one actually cared in the first place. People are busy living their lives, trying to make ends meet. And the few stupid comments on social media, those are just people who are scared and jealous of those of us that are actually out in the world, trying new things, exploring, learning, growing. So if you're a creator, second guessing this whole art thing, you must know your art matters. The world needs it. It's your purpose, your mission to share how you see the world because it gets people to feel something, to spark wonder, to inspire social change, to inspire personal change. What is more noble than that? You have purpose and I'm here to help. Well, so now uh, I'm a middle-aged fella and everything I own fits on my motorcycle. Pathetic or cool gypsy filmmaker? <laughs> I have no idea. I do know I have never been happier though. <laughs>